Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add barcode scanning to your Expo React Native apps. So Expo has this really cool package called Expo Barcode Scanner which allows you to scan so many different types of barcodes. Um, so that's what we're going to be using today. It'll make things really easy for us to get started. You can use it for scanning things like QR codes but there are a lot of different other types of barcodes you can scan as well so it's quite good and easy to use so now that I've finished installing that package then I'm going to start writing some code for you guys so I want to import react because I'm going to be using react state today um, that's just to um, set whether I've already scanned something because I don't want it continuously trying to pick up data if it's already scanned. Um, and I'll add a button so that I can rescan if I want to rescan. I'm also importing the barcode scanner because that's what I'm going to be using for scanning my barcodes. Because it will require the camera to scan the barcodes, I need to request permission for the camera. Um, so I'll also have state for that. Basically, this is how I'm going to make my call to request permissions. I'm going to use effect. And I'll use an async function here. So when I request permissions, I'll get a permissions object back and it will have the status property. Um, when status is equal to granted, then that means that you've been granted permission to use a camera. Um, and so I want to know that because that means I can scan the barcodes. If I don't have that permission, I can't scan the barcodes because I just don't have permission to access the camera, which is required for barcode scanning. So if you don't have permission, it's um, a good idea to let the user know that you don't have permission to access the camera so that they can sort it out and um, use the app the way you want them to. So if they don't have permission, I'll let them know that they should grant permission. So now I'm going to want to add my barcode scanner. There are a number of different properties you can pass to this. You can actually specify what sort of types of barcodes you want to be able to scan and it is recommended by Expo you do it because it will improve the battery um, usage. Otherwise it's going to be looking for lots of different types of um, barcodes. So yeah, if you're only expecting like a QR code then Specify that you only want a QR code and it'll be fine, but I want to show you a few different um, barcodes as a demo and I want you to be able to scan anything you want if you download my code from my repo. So I'm actually not going to restrain the types here, but yeah, it is recommended you do it. And typically you would know roughly what type of barcode you're expecting. So on barcode scanned, if there's um, nothing that's been scanned, then I want to call handle barcode scanned. But if there has been something scanned, then I want to not do anything. And that's just because I don't want to be continuously reading in data once I've already scanned it.
So what I want to do here is set my scan data to be my data that I've um, read in from the barcode and I'm going to log out the type and the data just so you can take a look at it yourself um, and so I can show you. In your actual app, you won't need the console logs. You can just set the scan data and do whatever you want with it. I'm also going to show you the type so you can see that it picks up different types of barcodes. The full list is in the Expo documentation, which I'll link in the description below. I also want to add a button if there is um, data that's been scanned. So the reason I want to add this button is so that I can reset my scanned data to be undefined and that will allow me to rescan if there's um, if I'm if I scan the wrong thing for example or I just want to rescan for whatever reason. So here I am getting, setting my scan data to undefine so that I can scan again. Oh, I think I should be pretty good to run this now. I'll get it started and show you my barcode scanner. Just run Expo Start to start your React Native app. Hmm, it's not requesting me permission, requesting the permissions for the app at this stage. Um, okay, so I'm going to set a breakpoint and see what's going on here. Okay, so it's not even calling that by the looks of it. So if I go look at my code... I'll just reload just to check. No, it's definitely not calling that function. Okay, so I've missed some brackets here that will call that function that I've defined. And so, yeah, now when I um, run that, it works. You can see that it's hitting that breakpoint. Status is granted. And so all is well. So now if I show you a barcode, it gives me the information in the console, which is good. And if I scan the QR code, I'll also get some data in the console. So I hope that was helpful to you today. Um, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe for more. Uh, all my code will be on GitHub, so you can check it out and have a play around with it in your own time. So this is the data that I'm showing you just here.